Elderly people experience a problem that it becomes more and more difficult to understand speech in noise or in the presence of other people's voices. And for many years, we thought that the loss in hearing was the main cause for this problem. But our research now found that changes in brain function are the main reason for the problem of speech understanding in noise in aging. I'm using neuroimaging technique called magnetoencephalography, which records the brain activity while people are listening to sound. And over the years of this research, we learned to interpret in detail the meaning of brain signals generated by listening to sound. The exciting part of the research is that we are now able to identify in fine detail those brain networks which separate the incoming sound information and the meaning of this sound. And our hypothesis is that during aging, something goes wrong at this specific part of brain processing. Knowing and understanding the underlying brain mechanism in detail will help us to design and develop new training paradigms to improve speech understanding in noise in the elderly. More funding will allow us to follow two streams of research. One is continuing the discovery research about brain mechanism of aging. The other is studying how much elderly people can benefit from training and how to design such training in an optimum way. My name is Bernhard Ross. I'm a senior scientist at the Rotman Research Institute.